Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. In a boost to military-to-military -military ties between India and France, the air forces of the two countries will carry out a two-week-long air exercise beginning from 1st July in France. As part of the exercise, a fleet of Su-30 fighter jets will engage in dogfights with Rafale fighter jets in simulated scenarios, and a large number of other assets including mid-air refuelers will also be sent to France, and it will be one of the largest air exercise between the two strategic partners. The air exercise will take place after the recently concluded naval exercise between the navies of the two countries, in which Indian MiG-29K fighter jets engaged with Rafale M of the French Navy. India and France have been also carrying out discussions on the possibility of launching a tri-services military exercise between the armed forces of the two nations. The International Institute of Information Technology and Bharat Dynamics have announced the establishment of a Center of Excellence for Artificial Intelligence in Missile Technology. The Center of Excellence will undertake up to five projects in a year, as per mutually agreed scope. The Center of Excellence will also take up projects related to manufacturing inspection and other related areas. According to latest reports, the Jordanian Air Force has put up six Chinese-made CH-4 unmanned air vehicles for sale, raising questions on the drone's performance which were reportedly delivered about two years ago. China's Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation has also been accused of copying the design of MQ-9 UAV of General Atomics Aeronautical Systems of the US. In a boost to India's underwater capabilities, the Indian Navy had successfully conducted a live exercise of its new deep submergence rescue vehicle. The Indian Navy has revealed that the test involved transfer of personnel from a Kilo-class submarine, in a simulated submarine in distress operation. The deep submergence rescue vehicle has a crew of three, and can rescue up to 14 personnel from a stranded submarine at a time. The defense industry has urged the Indian government to cut down the inordinate delays in the procurement process for military equipment, as the uncertain time frames are adversely impacting business and discouraging foreign investments. Several large defense companies have either cut down jobs, or scaled down business plans in the past two years, owing to a lack of orders being placed by the government through the competitive process, and a continuing preference for public sector units. Due to the various restrictions to fulfill offset obligations, foreign manufacturers have found fewer reasons to invest in manufacturing projects within India. According to experts, Prime Minister Modi can be credited with elevating the strategic dimension of the Indo-Israeli partnership, and Israel has acquired greater priority and visibility since 2014. India's recent defense acquisitions from Israel, ranges from long-range surface to air systems, Falcon OX, different varieties of unmanned aerial vehicles, green pine radars and several types of laser-guided systems. Israel's Elbit Systems and Isok Leyland have agreed in December 2018, for mounting Elbit's artillery systems on its wheeled vehicles. India's Adani Defence and Aerospace has also signed a contract with Elbit Systems, to construct Hermes 900 and Hermes 450 unmanned aerial vehicles in India. <laughs>